to find out, I'll knock at this first door again. Somebody, I say, somebody knocked. <laughs> uh, who was it? Uh, pardon me, mister. Senator Claghorn's the name. Claghorn, that is. Senator Claghorn? Uh, I'm from the south, uh, the deep south. From way down south. Huh? Uh, yeah, I'm so far down south that my family is treading water in the Gulf Stream. <laughs> South, isn't it? Yeah, where I live, we call the people from Alabama Yankees. <laughs> well, I don't. Uh, know. Don't butt in when the body's talking, son. Try listening. Now, <laughs> uh, see, try listening. You're bound to learn something. Well, look, Senator. Anything I'll... gets me down, it's two people trying to talk at the same time. Well, I know. But I I'll... got the floor, son. Don't try no filibuster. <laughs> Now, look, Senator, what about the housing shortage down there in Washington? I stop at a hotel. Oh, you actually have a room? What room? You mean, uh... For $20 a day, they give me a chair in the lobby and a sleeping pill. <laughs> pill, that is. <laughs> what is the housing problem coming to, Senator? Uh, there's only... I say, there's only one solution. And that is? Close up the OPA. Well, what will happen if we close the OPA? There'll be millions of ceilings left over. Yes. You put four walls under them ceilings, you got houses. <laughs> so long, son. So long, that is. <laughs> so good to be back in Allen's Alley again, Portland. I wonder if the senator is in tonight. Let's see. Somebody, I say, somebody thumped on my door. Yes, Senator. I represent the solid town. Well, I know I that. loaned Mason and Dixon the chalk the day they drew the line. <laughs> well, I, uh... Speak up, son. Out with it. Speak up. Up, that is. Well, look... <laughs> You'll never get anywhere staying silent. Well, if you did... don't try to be another Coolidge, son. <laughs> Look, Senator, tell me, how are traffic conditions in Washington? We're investigating. Congressman Coffee is boiling. Well, <laughs> well... Coffee's boiling. That's a joke, son. I... <laughs> Pay attention, son. Be on your toes. Well, I'm doing that. Yeah, best... you keep missing them, son. Well, I... <laughs> Senator, look... The streets are filled with cars. What is the solution of the nation's traffic problem? One, I say, one-way traffic. One-way traffic, Yeah, eh? Monday's all traffic moves only to the east. Yeah. Tuesday's all traffic moves only to the west. Yeah. Wednesday's east, Thursday's west. Uh-uh. Now, wait a minute, Senator. What about the north and south? Son, that was settled by the Civil War. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, so long, <laughs> you through the keyhole, Senator. <laughs> the Senator dropped a picture of Jefferson Davis. Oh, well, I'll give it to him next Sunday. Now, let's see what happens here at this next door. Ah, it's so quiet and restful here in Allen's Alley, Portland, but I can put a stop to that just by knocking on the Senator's door. Somebody, I say, somebody knock. <laughs> Yes, I... Uh, Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn. I that know is. that. I... I'm from the South, way down South. Every week... Where I come... I come from, when we say cotton, we don't mean no movie actor. Now, wait a minute. Look, <laughs> Look don't butt in, son. Well, Stop I... blabbing. I'm not trying to... Blab. Keep interrupting. Try listening. Listening well, to me. If I could only get a word... Don't give me no Gettysburg address, son. <laughs> now, look... Senator, slow down a minute, if you will, please. You've only two more years in office. What is your opinion? What is your opinion of women in the post-war business world? It's got I say it's got us worried, son. Senator Glass is all broken up. Well then you <laughs> Glass is broken. That's a joke, son. That's witty. Well, I know it's yeah. witty. I mean. Humor. I sensed that it was real southern humor. I'll go down there and enjoy it some way. <laughs> you, uh, you ain't very quick, are you? Oh, now, look. <laughs> Senator, what do you, as man to man, or as man to what I am, what do you think... <laughs> what do you think about women going into business? I say let them go into business. Fine. Women can be politicians. Women can be bartenders. Good, good. Bartenders, that is. Yeah. A woman? 
A woman can even be president. Good. But there's one... I say there's one thing a woman... A woman can never be, son. A woman can never be? The father of our country. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Well, the senator has an answer for everything, even before you ask him. Gosh, it's good to be back in Allen's Alley again, isn't it, Portland? Now, I wonder if the senator is in. Somebody, I say, somebody now. Now, look, Senator. Claghorn's the name. Senator Claghorn, that I, is. I know what... I represent the South. I'm from Dixie. That's down south. Well, you keep telling me... Yeah, that let me talk, son. Well, all I'm trying... Let me get a word in... A word, you understand? That's all I know. Yeah, I know. you keep running off at the mouth, son. I haven't even... Yada de yada de yada do that is. <laughs> Look, Senator, what is Washington doing about the victory loan drive? Well, I say, Congress is all excited. Senator Ball is bouncing. Fine. <laughs> I said Ball is bouncing. That's a joke, son. Well, I suspect it. <laughs> Very humorous, son. Well, I do the best I can. They keep getting by you. Well, I do the best I can to stop them, Senator. <laughs> but they're so sticky, I don't like to touch them. <laughs> Tell me, Senator, are you... Be... Makes a lot of pauses oh, okay. in that. <laughs> we have uh, any pauses left over. We could use the short ones, you know, for station identification. Tell me, Senator, are you behind this victory loan? I overdone it, son. I can't go back home. You can't go south? I told my constituents to buy bonds. Buy victory bonds, I said. I see. Our army has won the war, I said. Good. Our army is coming home victorious, I said. Well, why can't you go back down south, Senator? They, I see. They thought I meant the Confederate Army. Oh. <laughs> so long. So long, that is. So long, I... Say, a piece of corn bone fell out of the senator's pocket here. Oh, oh well, I'll give it to him next Sunday. Well, let's move along to Titus. Well, here we are back in Allen's Alley, Portland. Say, I wonder if the senator had to run for re-election last week. Let's see. Somebody, I say, somebody knock. Yes. Yeah. Well, yes, for Claghorn. Senator Claghorn, that is. Now, wait a I know. <laughs> Now, look, are you through, Senator, temporarily? Yeah, yeah. Can I yeah, I'm Sam. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Look, Senator, are you upset about these new post-war inventions? Well, there's only one thing that's got me worried, son. What's that? Them new aluminum suits for men. Aluminum suits? If they, I say, if they take all of America's kitchen utensils to make aluminum suits... Yes? The taxpayer will be caught with his pants down. <laughs> so long, so long, that so is. So long, so long. See you the well, the senator shouldn't worry about aluminum. He should worry about getting the lead out. <laughs> Say, it's mighty quiet down here in Allen's Alley tonight, Portland. I wonder what the senator is up to. Let's see. Somebody, I say, somebody not. Yes, I know. Uh, Claghorn's the name. Senator Claghorn, that e is. Everyone. I come from Dixie. I'm loyal to the sound. Keep telling me this. I thing. never go to a movie unless Ann Southern is in it. <laughs> on the radio, I never listen to Mr. and Mrs. North. <laughs> Uh, speak up, son. Out with it. Well, I'm trying to say... You don't say nothing. You just stand there gawking. <laughs> gawking that... Well, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> now, look, Senator. Can I cut in just for a second? How does Washington feel about this clothing shortage? It's terrible. I've been wearing the same suit since I was elected five years ago. One suit for five years? Isn't it worn out? My suit's so worn out it might cost me my job. Your job? How do you mean, Senator? If my trousers get any thinner... Yes? I'm liable to lose my seat in the Senate. <laughs> so long. So long, that is. So long, Senator. I'll make a note of it. Well, Congress may soon see the end of the Senator from indications. <laughs> Regardless of the traffic, here we are back in Allen's Alley, Portland. 
I'll see if Senator Claghorn is in. Somebody, I say, somebody <laughs> not. Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn, that is. I know you. I'm mean. from Dixie. Now, look, sir. <laughs> Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, that is. I only ate the part of the turkey that's facing south. <laughs> Senator, I know you're from the South. Yeah, well, no man living can make me wear a union suit. <laughs> you don't want underwear, yeah. don't... What's I... on your mind, son? Speak up. Well, if you give me half... This a... is America, son. you got free speech. I'm trying to exercise... Well, go ahead and talk, son. <laughs> don't wait to be prodded. Prodded, that is. Look, and I know what... I know what prodded is. <laughs> now, just inhale for a second there, Senator, and answer this question. How does Washington feel about the president's health program? We had... Now, listen to this, son. Yeah. <laughs> we had... I don't want to waste any more here. We had a big, a, a big debate in Congress. Somebody was running down Senator Hill. Uh, <laughs> I, uh... Running I... down Hill, that's a joke, son. <laughs> Oh, it's a joke. Yeah, when you hear something funny, laugh, son. Well, I... <laughs> yeah, I know, I've wasted another one on you. But... Now, look, <laughs> well, now, admit it, son, you ain't much of a wit. <laughs> look, Senator, what do you think will happen if the government provides money for our medical care? Things will, I say, things will, will boom, son. Well, how do you mean things will boom, Senator? If people can get paid for being sick, they'll all lay down. I see. With 130 million Americans flat on their backs. Yes. Things will be looking up. <laughs> yeah, up that is. Oh, oh, I just thought of something. Remember Stonewall Jackson? I'll keep him in well, that takes care. <laughs> I like to take Stonewall apart and throw a rock at a time at the senator. Well, now let ah, something tells me the senator's home. I smell chitlings cooking. Somebody, I say, somebody now. Yes, I know. Ah, uh, Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn. That is. You don't have to. I'm from the south. The only candy I eat is cotton candy. <laughs> I don't care what. I've seen Gone with the Wind seventy-two times. Look. When I'm in New York, I refuse to drive through the Lincoln Tunnel. Now, <laughs> now look, Senator. Now, what's eating your son out with well, it? I just would your like... jaw keeps wagging, but nothing comes out. Well, I don't get You're it. like Charlie McCarthy without Edgar Bergen. Well, if you just give me a chance. Bring a dummy. Dummy, that is. Now, wait a minute. I... Put me down off your knees, Senator. <laughs> Now, what about families earning more money in 1944? Well, it ain't what people earn, son. It's what they can keep. You mean... Most people end up with nothing. It's the law of averages? It's the Ways and Means Committee. The Ways and Means? If you've got means, they'll find ways to get it. <laughs> so long, son. So long, that is. So long, Senator. Uh, don't forget, vote for... I say, vote for Jefferson Davis. I'll write him in. <laughs> You can tell the senator's doing a whale of a job. Instead of a cane, he carries a harpoon. Oh, well, let's see if Titus... Well, Portland, here we are back in Allen's Alley. Say, the senator's home tonight. His hound dog is curled up there under the porch. See it? Somebody, I say, somebody now. Yes, I know. Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn. I it? know, I know. You're from Dixie. When I eat crackers in bed, I only eat Georgia crackers. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Take the South Ferry. Now, wait a look. <laughs> Way down upon the Swanee River. Look, you're a little... I'm singing Swanee, son. Well, I know what you're singing. Show some reverence, son. Kneel down and uncover. Now, wait a <laughs> Stop eating your gum, son. Now, just let, let me... Let me get... talk for a change. Change, that is. You let me get a word yeah, in. Keep chattering, son. I don't even get a chance. Oh, son, you going like a cow's tail in fly time. Now, wait a <laughs> While you're taking in a little wind, Senator, do you mind if I intersperse something in here? What was Washington's reaction to the choice of the most popular movie stars? We took our own poll in Congress. We did? Everybody was talking all at once. Even Senator Brooks was babbling. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Babbling Brooks, that's a joke. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> that's my 
the fall. I don't care. There's a Savannah Socceroo. Look, I don't care. How I crack wires and you look dumb. I'm looking dumb. <laughs> Hold up, son. You're subnormal. <laughs> Stop that in. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> careful how low you go, even in water, Senator. Now, you watch that stuff stuff. Now, look, about these Hollywood stars, are you a movie fan? I quit, I say, I quit going to movies, son. Well, why? Last picture I saw made my down yonder blood boil. Your down yonder blood was boiling, eh? Well, what happened? At the end of the picture, Ann Southern married Cary Grant. But why? Uh... I couldn't stand to see another Grant taking anything Southern. <laughs> so long, so long, so long, so long. Well, <laughs> the senator, <laughs> the senator must have just finished dinner. I, I smelled a little hog jowl on his breath. <laughs> oh well, I. Uh... Well, here we are back in Allen's Alley, Portland. I guess the senator's home, all right. His bullwhip is coiled up on the front step there. Somebody, I say, somebody now. Now, look, Senator. Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn. I know, is. I know your name. You're from the South. I'm a ding-dong daddy from Dallas. You're a... Yeah, I'm the real you. I'll never listen to thanks to the Yanks. Now, wait a minute. I'll speak up, son. What's on your mind? Well, if I only... Go ahead and talk, Well, son. all I'm trying to do is... A... Well, the war's over, son, today. Loose lips ain't sinking ships. I'm just trying to get a word in there. Hey, open your mouth, son. I've heard more conversation coming out of a knot hole. <laughs> You're winded, hey? <laughs> Only momentarily, son. <laughs> Good. Now, I'll get in there. What about this meat strike? I, brought, I say, I brought it up in the house. Pay attention now, son. <laughs> I heard Claire loose talk. <laughs> loose talk? That's a joke, son. I know it's a joke. I don't care. That was a Birmingham belly bus. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> you should be yucking. You ain't even smirking. I don't even get a chance to smirk. Hold right? up, son. You don't get it. You're from back country. Now, look. <laughs> look, Senator. What about this meat problem? Well, the nation's capital will have plenty of meat for everybody. Well, where is Washington going to get this meat? Son, there's 130 million Americans. Yes. And today, every American is sending his beef to Washington. So long, <laughs> Well, the senator has a head like a pot roast. It brings back happy memories. Well, I hope that you will all is serene down here in Allen's Alley. The senator's home. There's a letter in his mailbox from Mr. Effie Boone of Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> I'll knock and see what happens. Somebody, I say, somebody knock. Yes, I know. Claghorn's the name. Senator Claghorn, I know is. you're from the South. When yes. I'm in New York, I'll never go to the Yankee Stadium. Now, wait a minute. I won't even go to see the Giants unless the South Pole's pitching. Well, look, wait a minute. I refuse to watch the Dodgers unless Dixie Walker's playing. Now, wait a minute. Stop me... interrupting. Where's your manners? Manners, I have more. Uh, try listening. You might learn something. Listen, all I'll ever learn. Your tongue's wagging like a blind dog's tail in a meat market. <laughs> you're winded, hey? <laughs> Just sucking in some air, son. <laughs> well, leave, leave a little. I'm breathing, too, you know. <laughs> tell me, uh, tell me, Senator, what is Washington doing about coal prevention? The Senate, I say, the Senate reconvened just in time. Yeah? I was... Hold on now. I'm just... <laughs> okay, I'm stripping, Senator. I was glad to see Senator Aiken back. Then... Ah! <laughs> Aiken back, that's a joke, son. I know it's a joke, <laughs> was a corny side split. I, I wouldn't have said that. That was a green pot Listen, you don't know what it is. I keep up. tossing them and you just sidestep them. Well, look at them. Now, wait. Say, you're a regular sad sack. Sack, that is. Now, you wait. <laughs> Tell me, uh, cool off. Now, just a second. Do you have a favorite cure for a cold? I caught a cold last week. Yeah. I'd like to ruin my filibuster. Ruin your filibuster? <laughs> What did you do? I took an old southern remedy, son. I drank down two buckets of hot mint julep. 
gosh. I kept right on filibustering. You drank two buckets of hot mint juleps and you still held the floor? Held the floor? Son, I couldn't get up off it. (laughs) Well, the senator looks like a uh, New England dinner tonight. He sure is boiled. Well, it's good to get back to Allen's Alley, Portland. Well, I guess the senator's just finished dinner. There's a big catfish head on the lawn. See the flies? <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's knock. Somebody, I say, somebody knock. Yes, I Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn, that is. You're from the South. When I play bridge, I'm never sitting off. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> yes, man, who knows? Senator's best, it's Claghorn six and seven eighths to three. Now, look, look. Senator. I shot a robin this morning. You shot a robin? I caught the little feathered traitor flying back from the South. Oh, <laughs> Tell me, Senator, are you doing, personally, are you doing anything about this chicken surplus? I'm eating chicken every day. Good. I have my own recipe, chicken a la claghorn. Chicken a la claghorn. How do you prepare your fowl, Senator? First, I soak my chicken overnight in Kentucky bourbon. Uh-huh. Ought <laughs> me to go on here now. <laughs> then I boil it in Louisiana corn. Yes. Then I'll baste it with Mississippi mint julep. Yes. Then I'll leave it in the skillet over a slow fire for two days. And the chicken's ready? I don't bother with the chicken. No? When I get through lapping up that gravy... Yes? I'm southern fried. <laughs> so Well, the senator certainly knows his uh, culinary uh, stuff. Well, let's see if Mr. Moody is in. Here we are back in Allen's Alley, Portland. Ah, that good air. Well, the senator's in all right. His hexing kit and voodoo mess jacket are here on the front veranda, see? Well, let's knock. Somebody, I say, somebody knock. Yes, I... Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn, that is. I know, you're from the South. I've been in the house all day. I refuse to come out. Why? The wind was blowing from the north. Now... <laughs> Charleston. Now, look. I uh, never go to the store club, son. Why not? That Billingsley's first name is Sherman. Now, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Sherman. When I say that name, I'll rinse my mouth out. <laughs> Tell me, Senator. Confidentially, do you have a hobby? My only hobby is home movies. Oh, you have different pictures? Only one picture, son. Gone with the wind. <laughs> Your hobby is showing the same picture over and over? Only one scene. One scene? Where Grant takes Richmond. I see. I run the film backwards, son. You mean... <laughs> Richmond taking Grant. Come on, son. Well, the senator probably thinks the girl in Gone with the Wind is O'Hara Scarlet. Well, uh, it's sure good to get back to Allen's Alley, Portland. I guess the senator's in all right. I see footprints in the mint bed. Well, let's, uh... Barefoot prints, too. He must have been in a hurry. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's knock. Somebody, I say, somebody knock. Yes, Claghorn's I... Claghorn's your name, Senator Claghorn. I is. know your name. God, I'm beaming tonight. I'm sitting on top of the world. <laughs> the South Pole, that is. Tell me, Senator, did the movies, radio, or comics have any effect on you as a child? I didn't need no entertainment as a child. No? I laughed from the day I was born till I was 28 years old. Yeah? What were you laughing at? I used to sit on the Mason-Dixon line and laugh at them suckers going up north. (laughs) You uh, never read the comics, huh? I was crazy about Superman, but he let me down. Well, how? When I first saw Superman with his cape and that big S on his chest... Yes? To me, that S stood for one thing, the sound. Well, what turns you against Superman? One day, he took off his cape. And underneath? Superman, that muscle-bound turncoat, was wearing a red union suit. <laughs> so long, 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 Hey, I just noticed the senator's feet are flat. That's, uh, 
Let's see if Mr. So restful down here in Allen's Alley, Portland. The senator's home all right. Look, there's a peanut oil lamp burning in his window. Now, let's knock. Somebody, I'll say, somebody knock. Yes, I know. Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn. I know your name. I... I got a story for you tonight, son. What story? That's about the southern cannibal. She divorced her husband. He was always eating Georgia crackers in bed. Ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> you in the South. What about the North? There ain't no North, son. No North? It's just that one place ain't as far south as another place. <laughs> what about Canada, Montreal? Canada was discovered by a southerner, son. Yeah. Montreal was originally called Montreal. <laughs> Look, look, Senator. Oh, we saw was in the land of the country. Now, wait a minute. Wait. Speak yourself, son. I'm singing the national anthem. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> what about my question? What about this gambling business? We have, I say, we have plenty of gambling games in the South. There's a cotton gin rummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black eyed pinochle. <laughs> Southern Bridge. What is Southern Bridge? There's only three players. No, no. <laughs> You uh, you can't play poker in Texas without kibitzes. If you start a game of poker... The eyes of Texas are upon you. <laughs> well, what about gambling, this gambling here in New York City? Northern gamblers are only gambling to get a free trip to the South. You mean if they're arrested? They'll get 20 years in Atlanta. GA, that is. Uh, no oh, The senator sure is in fine settle tonight. Hell, it sure is swell to get back down to Allen's Alley, Portland. Say, the senator must be leaving town. Look, his carpet bag is packed, and it's on the front porch. I'll knock. Somebody, I say, somebody knock. Ah, Senator Claghorn, you look in the pink. Yeah, I'm feeling peachy, son. Georgia peachy, that is. <laughs> leaving town? And I'm going to my college class reunion. I'm taking the Dixie Flyer. What college did you attend? My alma mater is CCNY. City College of New York? CCNY of Charleston, Chattanooga, Natchez, and Yazoo. <laughs> oh. And I graduated Magnolia Cum Laude. Yeah. My fraternity was I, Melda Delta. In my, gra I say, in my graduating class, I was voted the southern boy most likely to secede. <laughs> Well, fine. Yeah, I was cheerleader at all our football games. Cheerleader, We eh? played our big game in the Molasses Bowl. The Molasses Bowl? Son, you should have heard me lead that cheer. Yes, sir. Yes, the black-eyed pea. Where are the boys from the Confederacy? Give her zoom. Give her fizz. Hit that line, Mason Dixon, that is. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Senator. What about this pay raise for postal employees? Son, I'm rooting for them. The South is depending on them mailmen. Why? Why? Who do you think them thousands of boys in them gray uniforms are? You mean? It's the Confederate Army biding its time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, if there's another war, the Senator's going to have plenty of carriers, all right. Now, let's, uh, let's... Oh, it's so good to get back to Allen's Alley, Portland. Say, I guess the senator must have left his jug of corn out tonight. Even the moon is full. <laughs> well, let's now. Somebody, I say, somebody now. Yes, I... Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn, that is. I know your name, both of them there. You, uh... <laughs> Uh, what about Victory Gardens this year? Every man, I say every man, woman and child in the South is having a Victory Garden. Good. We're growing only one vegetable, the vegetable that's the pride of the South. You mean? It's named after the brother of Robert E. Lee. A vegetable named after the brother of Robert E. Lee? Brock O. Lee. <laughs> The senator, <laughs> the senator looks seedy enough to sprout himself. Portland, isn't it good to get back to Allen's Alley? Say, the senator must be going away. Look, his mules are hitched to the buckboard out back of the house there. Well, let's knock. 
Somebody, I say, somebody not. Well, uh, <laughs> Senator Claghorn leaving town? I got my mule, fed, watered, and hit, son. I'm going to Texas. Dallas, that is. Well, what's doing in Dallas, Senator? Next Wednesday is Claghorn Day. Claghorn Day. What a celebration. Big doing, eh? The Corn Cadets, the biggest hillbilly band in the world, 2,000 boys playing jugs will be there to welcome me. What song will they play? Shoe Fly Pie and Texas Panhandle. <laughs> Well, tell me, are you taking the train to Dallas, Senator? No, I'm speeding there the buckboard. I'm leaving Washington. Yeah. I'm swinging up through Toronto. Yes. Over across Illinois and Iowa to Nebraska. Yes. Then I'm veering down through Colorado and Santa Fe. Yeah. Taking a left turn at Abilene, I'm coming through Cleburne and Mineral Wells smack into Dallas. But why take this roundabout route, Senator? Son, it's the only way I can get to Dallas without setting foot on that Lincoln Highway. <laughs> Senator, what is your reaction to this Coney Island reopening? Coney Island, I say, Coney Island is the watering place of the South. The South? When I go to Coney Island, I see them Frankfort. Frankfort is the capital of Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> I stuff myself with that Cracker Jack. Georgia Cracker, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. taste that yummy pie and ice cream, Texas style. Pie with ice cream, Texas style? Pie Alamo, son. Alamo. <laughs> I grab my fear like a water wings and plunge into that southern water. Southern water at Coney Island? That's the Atlanta Ocean, son. <laughs> well, I guess when the senator dives in at Coney Island, he probably comes up at Southampton. <laughs> well, let's try, um, let's try Mr. Moody. It's as quiet as a needle coiling in a bucket of whipped cream. Say, I wonder, I wonder if the senator is in. Let's knock. Somebody, I say, somebody knock. Yes, I... Claghorn's your name, Senator Claghorn, that is. Look, I know. Something tells me you don't remember me, son. Look, I remember you. I'm from the cell. The bone and possum paradise. Now, look, Senator. The only plant life I have around my house is a Virginia creeper. Now, wait a minute. Every time I get chicken pox, they're southern fried. (laughs) Senator. Remember me now, son? No. Don't say no in my presence. Why not? And oh, that's north abbreviated. Senator, what about this sleeping problem? When I, I say, uh, when I first went to the Senate, I had plenty of trouble sleeping. You, uh... After the roll was called, I put on my sail-sucker night shirt and yeah. my Lindsay Woolsey beret. Yeah. And I'd face the south, lean back, close my eyes... And go to sleep, huh? Until some Yankee pigeon fucker would get up, start flapping his lips, and break up my Morpheus filibuster. <laughs> filibuster, that is. Heard you the first time, Senator. Are you still uh, losing sleep, Senator? No, I'm solved my problem, son. How? When I'm ready to sleep in the Senate, I sit back and croon myself my southern lullaby. What is your southern lullaby? Rock a by small fry on the cotton tree top. When the southern wind blows, your cradle will rock. When the wind's from the north, I say, baby, you'll ball. For down will come cradle, tree, and you all. Well, very good, Senator. Well, the, the Senator stopped just in time. I was dozing off myself. Now, I wonder how tight it is. Delightful night in Allen's Alley, Portland. I guess the Senator's eating again. I just saw some possum claws come flying out the window. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's knock. Somebody, I say, somebody bang my door. Yes, I... You uh... know my name, son. I'm Hoosiers. Senator Hoosiers, that is. Flaghorn. Yes, Flaghorn's my name. I was just putting you to the test. <laughs> Senator, you're in rare form tonight. Hey, I'm rip-roaring, son. I'm on the razzle-dazzle. I'm jollified. You're jollified, eh? Yeah, well, son. Well, what, what happened? Saw a ball. I say, I saw a ball game today. Double header, eh? Hey? <laughs> Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. How could the Yankees lose? The umpire was from the south. How do you know? Well, after the umpire called three bowls on the batter... After three bowls? He called a weevil. <laughs> you 
you must have had a great day. Ah, uh, who did them pigeon plucking Yankees to a fair the rootin' tootin' well? You mean you? Yeah, uh, I gave old Bill Dickey the bird. You uh... <laughs> Dickey bird, that's a joke. I know it's a joke. You? Well, now, look. You keep bobbling. Now, let me tell you. Admit it, son. You're just a joghead. <laughs> Pop that ear. Now, wait a minute. There you go. Don't go too far, Senator. Now, wait a minute. What about this 50th anniversary of the telephone? Telephone was invented by a southerner, Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell was a southerner? Graham is a cracker. Georgia, that is. Oh, <laughs> Tell me, Sam, how does the telephone work in the South? Southern service is the best in the country. You mean? For 50 years, there's only one call in the South that hasn't been answered. What call? should have had Nelson Eddy come in for that one note. <laughs> well, if Chloe doesn't answer that, she's no longer among the living. That brings us to the last house in the alley. Let's try here. Somebody, I say, somebody now. Well, Claghorn's the name of Senator Claghorn. Now, look, I know. Talk up, son, my bindle's packed. I'm Alabama bound. You're, uh, you're going? I'm leaving for the South. I got to get the hold out, get folks to register. Well, how do you... I'm traveling through the South, exhibiting a Republican in a revival tent. <laughs> and on the Republican, I got a sign. It says, don't let this happen to you. Now, tell me, does it look like a big vote this year? Oh, uh, it's going to be a whopper, son. Good. Even Chloe came back to register. <laughs> Yeah, years ago, she ran off with Philip Myers. <laughs> Folks has been calling Chloe and Philip Myers ever since. <laughs> well, Senator, tell me, what is the South doing about fire prevention week? The Gulf, I say the Gulf Stream is standing by, son. The Gulf Stream, I uh, remember the biggest fire the South ever had. Really? 200 miles of swampland blazing. God. To save the old mill at Natchez, we threw 600 pounds of cornmeal into the Mississippi. Yes. The swamp fires had that river water boiling. Yes. When the water cooled off, yes. Wind there in the Mississippi was a stick of corn pone 12 miles long. So long, Senator. So long. It's good to be back in Allen's Alley, Portland. Say, I guess the Senator's in all right. Look, his, his Jimmy shorts are hanging on the line. Well, let's see. Somebody, I say, somebody now. Yes, I am. Claghorn's your name, Senator Claghorn. Now, look, every... I'm busy, son. It's this U.N. meeting. A little old southern boy is running the whole shebang. A southern boy? Yeah, uh, Robert E. Lee's oldest boy, Trigby. Trigby Lee. <laughs> Trigby Lee is from Norway. If he is, he's from South Norway. I know. <laughs> You had me trapped, didn't you, son? Now, look, I got too much savvy for you, son. Yeah. I'm stopping, and anything Gillette is turning out. Now, wait, a wait a minute, Senator. What about this buyer strike? I'm on strike myself till prices come down. I ain't even buying any votes. But I mean, <laughs> I mean the prices in stores, Senator. I'm fighting them, stores. Gum and nail. You mean tooth and nail, don't you? I ain't got teeth. I'm fighting them with what I got. <laughs> I fought old Ulysses F. when he comes south to open them Grant stores. I see. I fought them A and Black Eyed P stores. Yes. And them five and ten, them Cottonworth stores. You mean Woolworth, don't you? Wool ain't worth nothing in the South, son. <laughs> Cotton ain't worth much more right now. <laughs> well, summing up, Senator, about his fire strike. There's only one thing that'll start the South buying again. One thing? Money. Well, doesn't the government mint any money down your way? If we had a mint in the South, son, yes? we'd put it in the julep. So <laughs> long! Well, I guess the Senator's favorite drink is a cotton gin Ricky. Gosh, Portland, Allen's Alley is as quiet as a mink molting on a pile of peach fuzz. <laughs> I wonder if the senator is back from Dallas yet. Let's knock. Somebody, I'll say, somebody knock. Well, Senator Claghorn. Yeah, I just got back. <laughs> and 
just got back from Texas, son. Why, you're you're all dusty. Yeah, no, I ain't brushing my clothes. That's southern dust. <laughs> I, to... I'd rather eat the soil of the South than Yankee pastry. Well, tell me, uh, how was your reception? Flag on day was the biggest thing Dallas has seen since the last major bowl unit was stranded there. <laughs> Bigger than that, what happened? Well, they gave me a big watermelon barbecue. What a sight. Really? 2,000 Texans with their faces buried in watermelon. Gosh. You could hear the sucking from Dallas clean to Little Rock. <laughs> <laughs> what happened after the dinner? There was an all-star radio program over the entire Rebel Network. Really? Who was on the radio show? Big Southern Band, Swing and Sway with Henry Clay. <laughs> yeah? Then that Southern opera singer, Lily Pone. <laughs> Lily Pone? Yeah, Lily sang Carry Me Back to Old Louisiana. Now, wait a minute. Isn't that Carry Me Back to Old Virginia? Lily got two on call. She had to keep on carrying. <laughs> Tell me, what, uh, what else happened? When I closed the program with a short eight-hour talk, <laughs> filibuster that is. <laughs> well, this is all mighty interesting in a sordid way, Senator. But what about this campaign to cut down automobile accidents? The South is... I say the South is prepared, son. We're eliminating the automobile entirely. Eliminating the automobile in the South? How? Well, if a man has a 40-horsepower car, he turns in his car. Yes? The state gives him 40 mules. 40 mules. 60 horsepower, 60 mules. Yeah. 80. But the, uh, the whole South will be flooded with mules. How can you control the traffic? We'll import a northerner for a traffic cop. You mean a northerner can handle mules? It takes one jackass to tell another jackass where to go. No! Well, that's, uh, that's a hybrid horse on me, I guess. Let's... Well, Phil, I think it's about time to leave for Alan's Alley. Alan's Alley, nothing. This is my program, and on my program, it's called Tobacco Road. All right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ah, yes, it's so quiet and peaceful here on Tobacco Road, Fred. Well, it should be. Everybody's out in that play again this year. Yes, sir. But I see the senator's at home. A cottonmouth snake just come out of his front door running for its life. I'll now. Somebody else. Harris, Harris is the name, Flaghorn. Phil Harris, that is. Yeah, I'm here. from the south, the deep south. Well, I Where I come from, we refer to you as that stylist senator from up north. I don't know what The you're... only band I'll listen to is the Dixieland band. Now, look, My senator. favorite singer is Ginny Sims. Cotton Ginny, that I'll is. Say to Speak up, senator. The floor is yours. Out with Well, I got a bit. Start blabbing. Don't be another coolie. Now, well, look here, Fred. Quit, you old bloody daddy. Why are you still Oh, don't peel a possum. Don't you fight. Phil. I'm from the south. Phil, you were there. I'm solid, brother. Now, Phil, wait a minute. Hold your southern temper. You can't talk to the senator like this. You keep your big northern nose out of this, you Yankee Christian brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Son, I want to shake your hand. You got a mouth after my own heart. Well, it's a pleasure, Senator. A pleasure. Well, Phil, what about the rest of the program? Forget the program, Fred. Forget the program. When two Southerners get together, there's got to be a song. I come from a humming family, son. Let her rip. Okay, Senator. <laughs> Bread and black eyed peas, the smell of them magnolia trees just laying around in your DVDs. That's what I like about the South. Those lazy naps in the afternoon, old Jeff Davis and F.D. E. Boone. The greasy smell of big raccoon. That's what I like about the South. Hit it, Senator. The way Southern folks all say you all, the way the cotton comes up in fall, the way the bull weevils eat it all. That's what I like about the South. Where Coca-Cola, foam and fizz, where man can live on land that's his. With his plenty of money, Confederate, that is. That's what I like about South. Now, wait a minute, boys. It's my turn now. Give me the Bowery where folks go slumming. New York girls, so becoming. Where every house has indoor plumbing. That's what I like about the North. Old Broadway, those burlesque queens. Central Park with its grassy greens. Where Mammy's little baby likes Boston baked beans. That's what I like about the North. All right, boys, let's do it all together, huh? Where everybody, north or south, can get right up, shoot off his mouth. Where kidding one another is all fair play. That's what we like about the U.S. Ah, what?
what a night in Allen's Alley, Portland. I guess the senator has company. A big swamp lizard just looked out of the parlor window and waved a claw at me. Well, let's knock. Somebody, I'll see somebody wham my country seat. Well, yes, yeah, Senator. Well, yeah, Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn, that is. Well, I know you. I'm busy, son. The new Senate's getting together. Well, did, <laughs> did you have any trouble getting back in the Senate, Senator? Well, it was a little rumpus. I was finally cussed in. You were... <laughs> you mean sworn in. Son, when I got to the door of the Senate... Yes? There was plenty of cussing. Well, what's going on in the Senate? Harry dropped... I say Harry dropped in last week and read us boys a message. Say, I saw that. Yeah, uh, Harry wants the Democrats and the Republicans to join hands. I'm for it. Well, good. When they join hands, they better keep holding hands. You mean the Democrats and Republicans? If they ever let go, it'll be a wing-ding, son. <laughs> well, tell me, Senator, what about the future of these mystery books? I know a bestseller when I see one, son. Really? I got the bestseller in the South. I got 200... Hundred jugs of corn and three ton of mint down now, wait there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, wait, you, you don't understand. The best seller I mean is a book. I know, I'm too fast for your son. Yeah. I caught you with your back fat cooking and no greens to go with it. Now, wait a minute. I'm as sharp, I'm just as sharp as a busybody's nose. Now, wait a minute. Admit it, son, you're the last straw. Sucker, that is. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Enough is enough. Never mind that, Senator. What about these mysteries? Down south, we have a mystery that's been going on for years. What is it? Every night as the clock chimes 12, we have a ghoul who appears with a gun. Yeah? He shoots a volley of shots and disappears. The ghoul is a he? It's the spirit of John Wilkes Booth. Well, what is he shooting at? The Lincoln Highway. What's so long, <laughs> Senators wound up like a 10 cent ball of twine. Let's see what Mr. Moody is up to. Gosh, what a night in Allen's Alley, Portland. Look, the moon is out. I see two jugs of it on the Senator's doorstep. Well, let's knock. Somebody, I'll say somebody did. You know what, sir? Yes, I know. <laughs> Yes, I knocked, uh, sir. Claghorn's the name. Senator Claghorn, that is. Now, look, I... What's on your mind? Get a squirm on, son. I'm packing. I'm catching the Dixie special. Dixie? Where are you going, Senator? My new picture, It's a Joke, son, is having its world premiere next Tuesday at Austin, Texas. Really? They're going to be a big whoop de doo yeah. Governor Beaufort Jester is throwing out the first celebrity. Your picture opens... <laughs> Your picture opens in Austin, Texas? Yeah, well, next Tuesday. Wednesday, it's in San Antonio. Yeah. Thursday, it's in Houston. And Friday, it's in Dallas. Gosh. Texas is the lone star state, son. Yeah. And Senator Claghorn's that lone star. Yeah. <laughs> well, tell me, Senator, what about this legislation to stop bribery? We don't need bribery, son. The South is booming. Yeah. We got two possums in every pot, two cars in every garage, and two governors in every state. <laughs> Georgia, that is. Yes. <laughs> You're a little confused, Senator. I was talking about bribing athletes. The North, I say the North doesn't have to worry, son. We'll arrest your crooks. We'll be waiting for them at the Mason-Dixie line. Well, how do you know they'll head that way? It's easy, son. After a crime is committed, what's the first thing a criminal does? You mean? He goes south with the money. Oh, so long, so long, so long, so long, so long Senator. Well, the senator has something there, and he's sure welcome to it. I wonder if, uh... What a night in Allen's Alley, Portland. Look, the senator has a big banner on his house. It says, Eagle Lion Pictures present It's a Joke, Son, starring Senator Claghorn. Well, next knock, maybe showing the picture inside. Son, shake my hand. Any hand, son. Take a choice. There's three of them. Now, wait a minute. Wait, look. Wait a minute, Blowhard. Claghorn's the name, son. Senator Claghorn, that look, is. I know you. I just came back from Texas, son. My new picture, It's a Joke, son, opened at Austin. Great excitement, eh? It was the biggest sea bang Texas has seen since they laid the cornerstone for the Alamo. A big, <laughs> a big crowd? We had to use two theaters. One theater was filled with nothing but governors from Georgia. Oh, really? <laughs> What about these health cults and fads? Don't interrupt. I'm talking about my picture. Never mind your picture. I asked you a civil question. What's your flapping Yankee mouth, son? Don't ever mention that word civil in my presence. <laughs>
You mean the war? That war? I say that war was the war for Southern independence. Yeah, I'm humming Dixie, son. Take off your hat. Uncover. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> quiet. What about this health discussion? The South is reeking with health, son. Yeah. A breath of southern air will cure any known malady. People never die? We have to be careful about that, son. How do you mean? Down south, a man can sit in a chair without moving for 30 days. Yes? That ain't no proof he's dead. <laughs> I see. <laughs> His pulse may be gone and his heart stop beating. Yes? That ain't no proof he's dead. Well, how do you know when the man's time has come? We take him across the Mason-Dixon line and lay him on northern ground. And? If he don't crawl back over the line to the south... Yes? Son, that man is dead. <laughs> See, I guess the senator has finished dinner. His teeth are out on the front porch... For teeth are out on... <laughs> I could use a fresh set myself. <laughs> well, I, uh, I only borrow these teeth for the night. They're talking when I don't expect them to. I guess the senator has finished dinner. His teeth are out on the front po porch airing themselves. Well, let's not. Some, I say somebody rammed my door. Yes, Senator. Craghorn's the name Senator Craghorn, that well, is. look, Senator. Take your piece, son. I got a ramble. I'm off to New Orleans to the Mardi Gras. The Mardi Gras? What do you do when you get to the Mardi Gras, Senator? I grab me a hard-nosed cookie and start dancing. A hard-nosed cookie, eh? What, <laughs> what sort of dancing do you do? Folk dancing, son. The Mississippi Minuet. Oh, really? How do you dance the Mississippi Minuet? The women folks stand on one bank of the river. Yeah. Men folks stand on the other. Yes. Band start playing. Yeah. The the women start pigeon and wing and call the men. Yeah. The men start eagle rock and call the women. I see. When we meet in the middle of the river, we start pecking. Well, <laughs> that's some dance. The last time I say the last time I danced the Mississippi Minuet, I drowned three partners. <laughs> Tell me, do you uh, do you have any other dances? Yeah, I do the Bayou Begin. Yeah. Sometimes I'll throw in a night or two of square dancing. Square dancing? Son, you get two hundred squares dancing, ain't nothing prettier. <laughs> I, I can imagine. Yeah, I generally call the dances. Oh, swing your partner, do si do It ain't Arthur Maria. It's old Bill Bow. Stop for the oyster stick, for the clam. Bow to your lady and shake your yam. Very good. Yeah, that's without music, too. Uh. I know, I sense that. Uh, I would have detected an instrument had one been in there. Well, well, <laughs> you're looking at a hopping fool. Well, look, Senator, what about these radio programs that give away prizes and money? I only went on one quiz program in my life. Yeah? I run through them questions like a Democrat in Washington going up an alley. Good. <laughs> I come to the $64 question. And you won? No, son, I didn't. What happened? The $64 question was, who won the Civil War? And you? Son, my honor's worth more to me than $64. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Well, here we are back in Allen's Alley, Portland. Say, the senator must be cooking a turtle. The smoke is coming out of his chimney very slowly. Well, let's knock. Some, I see somebody wham or flash. Yes. Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn, that is. Say, Senator, your eyes are all red. I've been crying, son. Really? I've been bellering and boo-hooing. Yes? I must have slopped up 20 pieces of burlap. <laughs> what made you cry, Senator? I've seen a moving picture. I started crying at the box office. Crying at the box office? Got there just as the prices changed. <laughs> what? <laughs> What picture did you see? The yearling. It's the story of the South. Yeah. It's a poor family. There's a little boy and a deer. The bears eat the pigs. Then there's a tornado blows everything away. Oh, now, wait. Oh, now. Now, wait, wait. Don't break down, Senator. Well, that dirty, wrecking tornado. That wind was from the north. <laughs> Don't take it so hard, uh, Senator. Wait till I say, wait till I dry my eyes on my shirt tail. All right. You, uh, you like the, the uh, yielding, eh, Senator? I only found one boner in the whole picture. A boner? That little deer was a doe. Uh-huh. That's the first doe I've seen in the South for 30 years. <laughs> well, never mind that. 
What about this newspaper question? Well, every man in the South takes a daily paper. You mean? No matter how poor a man is. Yes? Yeah. As soon as he's had his breakfast, his grits and backfat, that is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He, uh, he, go, uh, say he goes out in front of his cabin. Yes. Crawls out on the ground. Yes. And he opens up his paper. And he reads it? No, he puts it over his head to keep off the flies. <laughs> the flies? Son, many a man in the South who can't read has sex on him. Go on. Go on. I guess the senator has company. Look, there are two sets of footprints in the mint bag. Well, uh, let's now. Somebody, I say, somebody wham the wood. Yes, sir. Claghorn's the name. Monsieur Claghorn, that is. Monsieur Claghorn? Parley vous Francais vous all? Senator. Hey, I'm studying French, son. Who yes. ate, I say, who ate the who ate the poire de moire de my grandmère? <laughs> what is that? Where's my grandmother's cod liver oil? <laughs> Well, come on, I speak French like an alicorn. Just... Tell me, why, uh, why are you studying French, Senator? Well, France sent Marie Chevalier over here. Oh, this yes. country's sending me over to France. It's uh, reciprocity. A swamp, that is. But you, uh... Yeah, I've been training. I've been training to go to France, son. Yes? Yeah. I've been drinking so much Napoleon brandy, I'm going around with my hands stuck in the front of my coat. <laughs> Tell me, what are you going to do in France, Senator? I'm on a goodwill tour. I'll start the south of France. Yeah. And I'll stop off in Paris. Actually. I'll look in at the Folly Berger. To, uh... <laughs> See what's going on? See what's coming off. <laughs> uh, I'm too fast for you, son. I'm wasting my wit. Yeah, you see. <laughs> but there is of it, you said. Well, tell me, Senator. Senator, about our question. Now, do you think the housewives should receive a weekly paycheck? Well, that's been a vital question in the South for 200 years. Really? That's why when you drive along the country road in the South, yes. you see the wife out laboring in the field, picking cotton, yes. salting tobacco, and sucking okra. Yes. Or back bent with drudgery and talk. I see. Then you see the husband sitting by the cabin. Yes. His chair up, his back. His hat pulled down to keep the sun out of his eyes. Uh-huh. No, and that husband ain't low. No. No, he knows his wife wants a weekly paycheck. And as the husband sits there not working with a chair tipped back in the sun, he's thinking it over. <laughs> I guess the senator's expecting company. Look, the guest jug is out on the front porch. Well, let's knock. I see somebody stocked my shanty. Well, yes, Claghorn's Senator. the name, Senator Claghorn, that is. Senator, you look good. I played in that national celebrities golf tournament. You play golf, Senator? Son, in the South, every man has his own golf link. Every man? How come? A man walks out into any old field with a niblick and a burlap bag. I see. In the burlap bag, he's got nine gophers. Nine gophers? He lets them gophers out of that bag. And? Son, before you can say scat, that man's got himself a nine-hole golf course. You mean... Well, the South goes in for sports, son. Yeah? One of our favorite games is watermelon rugby. Watermelon rugby. Ten men line up on each side for the kickoff. Yeah? And one man takes a short run and boots the watermelon. Yeah? The watermelon flies into a million pieces. And? Both teams sit down on the ground and eat the watermelon. Well, how do you know who wins? Well, after 30 or 40 watermelons are kicked off, most of the players is laying around the field moaning and groaning. Oh. The team that has the most men left standing wins. Mighty interesting game, Senator. If I do say so, and it looks as though I'm going to have to. Well, tell me, Senator, how do you feel about Mr. Hoover's theory that all presidents go fishing to get away from it all? I, I say I ain't never been president, son. Yes, that is. I know. <laughs> the way things are going, you may be, Senator, for you know. Uh, I, uh, I wouldn't know where a president goes. Well, naturally. Yeah, but son, when my burdens get too heavy. Yes. When my mind is muddled and my swallow tail is dragging. Yes. There's one place in Washington I can go. There I can lay me down with my brothers and join the big community sleep. Well, where is this big sleep going on? In the Senate. So long, oh, John. So long, <laughs> It's sure good to be back in Allen's Alley, Portland. Say, I guess the senator's home all right. Look, his mule has his shoes off. He's relaxing in the hammock. Can't tell the mule from the senator, except the senator doesn't wear a harness. Well, let's, uh, let's knock. 
Somebody, I see somebody prodded my panel. Well, yes. Claghorn's the name. Senator Claghorn, that is. Why, uh, you been away, Senator? Well, I was up in Canada with little old Harry. Yeah. Son, I never seen such a welcome. You, uh... As we crossed into Canada and they fired that 21-gun salute... Yes. Tears come to my eyes. Tears? All that shooting reminded me of my wedding day. <laughs> What did you do? What did you do in Canada, Senator? I went up to that city that was founded by a southerner. A city in Canada founded by a southerner? Montreal. Oh, <laughs> Some of them Northwest Mounted Police. Yeah. I sent regards to Nelson Eddy. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be glad to hear from you. You must have had some trips. Yeah, huh? well, Canada is the farthest on south I've ever been. Oh, really? It sure opened my eyes. Canada did? I thought animals was running the country. They got people up there. Oh. <laughs> well, this will be news to a lot of people. Tell me, Senator, what is your reaction to American cooking? Well, son, the South used to have the best cooking in the world. Used to have? Since I say, since 1929, yeah. we in the South ain't been able to cook. Well, what happened in 1929? Well, Herbert Hoover said, I'll put a chicken in every pot. And since 1929, nobody in the South has had any chickens? Son, since 1929, nobody in the South has had a pot. Well, so on. <laughs> well, let's knock. Who is it? I say, who is it calling on old Senator Clagg? Oh, it's you, well, son. Well, Senator. Speak up, son. I got to hop to it. I'm busier than a pump handle during a temperance picnic. <laughs> You, uh... I'm uh, writing a book. Writing a book? Well, uh, Senator Wiley of Wisconsin wrote a book called Laughing with Congress. Yes? My book's called Chuckling with Claghorn. Chuckling with uh, Claghorn. I got one joke in my book. It's about the farmer. His land was so poor, he had to spread it with fertilizer before he could raise a fuss on it. Do well, you mean that? <laughs> well, that's a belly whopper, son. Well, then... Start hooting and hollering. Yeah? Lean against something and watch your buttons pop. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Look, Senator, about this fraud business, have you ever been swindled? Well, son, back in 42, I was rooked to a fairly well by the slickest flim flamming Tom Pepper that ever wore sideburns and bear grease on his hair. Well, how... This is one man you're describing now. Uh. How did, uh, How did he... How did he cheat you, Senator? Well, I was running for office. This thimble rigger says, Flaghorn, if you want to get in, I'm your man. He could fix the election? I had a ballot box with a fire going in it and built in votes. A fire? As they were deposited in the ballot box, the fire burned up all the other candidates' votes. And the built in votes? They was all for me. You, uh, you couldn't lose. I was going in like Happy Chandler at a ball game. Oh. <laughs> Fine. I bought 200 ballot boxes with the built-in votes from this jack leg. Yes. The day of the election, something went wrong. With your fake ballot boxes, you didn't go in? I went in, son. Yes? I went in for 30 days. So long, so long, I did. Well, that probably explains the senator's palate. I guess the senator's leaving for Washington. Look, his bindle is packed on the front step there. Well, let's knock. Somebody, I see somebody's trying to rouse old Senator Clackle. Well, yes, Oh, uh, it's you, son. Yeah. Well, let me shake that thing that's hanging out of your sleeve. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, open up there, son. Tell me, what do you know for sure? Well, Senator... Stop jabbing, son. Give me both barrels. I'm busier than Vyshinsky's interpreter. Now, now, wait a minute. <laughs> down in Washington grilling them picture people about communism. Oh, you've been down there? I ain't never trusted Hollywood since I've seen that Lum and Abner picture. Yeah? <laughs> Lum was phoning Abner and he was using the party line. Party line? <laughs> well, have you found any other propaganda? I sure have. One movie I saw, it was uh, Weekend at the YMCA. Yeah. I right see. there, yeah. Right yeah. near the end of the picture. The boy and girl is eating dinner. There's yeah. a close-up of a big combination salad. And you? As soon as I seen that salad, I had them trapped. The salad was propaganda? On that combination salad, they had Russian dressing. <laughs> but, Senator... I'm too slick for them, son. I know all the ins and outs. As old flower bag said, I've been through the mill. Well, now, uh, how do you think the red investigation will end up, Senator? Well, son, if the Senate don't quit throwing money around on these investigations, the whole country's going to end up in the red. Well, Senator... In the red, that is. I heard it. <laughs> the first time, Senator. Tell me it was my misfortune to be close enough to hear it the second time. Tell me... <laughs> 
how do you feel about this music trend? Do you think that swing music is giving way to sweet? Well, there's only one thing we're afraid of down in Washington, son. Yes? Whether it's sweet or swing, yes? in 1948, us Democrats have got to face the music. So long, oh, son. Oh, oh, oh. Sally Port, and say, the senator has a Christmas wreath nailed on his door. It's an old spare tire painted green with a red ribbon on it. Well, let's knock. Who, uh, say, who's jiggling my lamp? Oh, it's you, son. Well, Senator Clagg. Well, son, I've been busier than a nearsighted Mexican trying to pick up two pounds of jumping beans. <laughs> demanded that list of grain traders, half of Washington's gone underground. You mean the grain? Politicians are flocking to cooperatives. Cooperatives? Yeah, they don't even want to be caught with a little corn in their shoes. <laughs> well, confidentially, Senator, did you, uh, did you as man to man now, did you ever speculate in grains? Son, on my honor, hope to die, hope the cattle spit in my eye. <laughs> I had nothing to do with grain since I sold my wild oats. Well, <laughs> things around the White House, Senator. Coming, son. Really? Margaret's back home, and yes. this week somebody sent a puppy to the president. The puppy was a Democrat. <laughs> How could you tell that the little puppy was a Democrat? He had his eyes open. <laughs> yeah, I can use that joke, son. I, I'm writing Harry's 1948 campaign speech. Well, I hope it goes better in the speech than it went tonight, Senator. <laughs> may give it something, you know. <laughs> Tell me, what is, uh, what, <laughs> what is the speech about? Well, the president's going to stop people from cutting down trees. Cutting down trees? Yeah, he don't want the Republicans stumping the country. <laughs> he don't what? want them stumping I, I, the country. I, 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 uh, I had the misfortune to have heard you the first time. <laughs> Tell me, what are the Republicans doing about 1948, Senator? Well, they're calling in Ralph Edwards. Ralph Edwards? Yeah, he's putting on a big Republican contest. Republican contest? Who is Mr. Hush? Well, confidentially, who is Mr. Hush? Tom Dewey. So long, Tom. So long, Gordon, say, I guess this uh, Senator Claghorn had a big New Year's Eve. There are ten empty Broma Seltzer bottles on the front steps there. <laughs> well, let's now. Who, I uh, say, who's whamming my naughty pine? Oh, it's you again, yes, son. Yes, Senator. Well, son, I got the beasy wheezy. Have I got a hangover? You, uh... Well, my head feels like there's a porcupine in there pressing his quills against my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Thought. New Year's Eve was too much for you, Ace. Well, yeah, Washington was jumping, son. Yeah. I was invited to three different parties. Three? Yeah, I only went to two of them. Well, why, Senator? Son, I ain't messing around with no third party. <laughs> I hope you're not neglecting business. No, son, I'm working now on a bill to combat inflation. Well, how can you stop rising prices? I'm calling in every pair of suspenders in the country. And when you have every pair of suspenders... Things will start dropping. <laughs> well, tell me... Tell me, Senator, what is the worst storm you have ever seen? Well, the worst snowstorm I ever seen was last week. Was the snow bad down there in Washington? Traffic was paralyzed, son. Yeah. Trains was canceled. Cars were stalled. Buses was tied up. Gosh. In Washington, only one thing was running. What? Henry Wallace. So long, <laughs> son. So long, Henry. in Allen's Alley, Portland. Say, I guess Senator Claghorn has been celebrating Easter, too. He has some colored possum eggs in the window there. Oh, well, I'll now. Somebody, I say somebody put the whammy to my panel. Yeah. Oh, it's you, Dodo Puss. Yes. <laughs> well, what's on your mind, son? Let's get going. I'm busier than the little boy's tongue when his Eskimo pie starts melting. Now? Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been working on that new tax production bill. Well, will it help the taxpayer? From now on, son, the government is going to give the taxpayer a hand instead of putting it in his pocket. Well, uh, Senator... How can the administration afford to cut down on taxes? When the administration paid its income tax this year, they got a big exemption. The administration? They claimed Europe as a dependent. <laughs> Whole world mixed up, son. Yeah. Hangovers are costing this country a billion dollars every year. Hangovers? People are drinking to forget. <laughs> to forget what? What they're drinking. <laughs> I say, every 
Everybody's switching. Bartenders are going crazy. You, uh... Just when a bartender thinks he knows what a customer's drinking, the customer switches. My sweet. It shows what some people will do to get their pictures in the paper. Well, <laughs> with an asterisk, too. Well, tell me, Senator, then, do you think the American woman works too hard? That's a leading question, son. Yes. This is election year. Well, I know. I... Uh, I'm like kissing Jim. My career's at stake. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think women work too hard? I do. My wife is sweeping the house from morning to night. She, uh... She's sweeping here, she's sweeping there, always with the broom in her hand. Broom? Why doesn't she use a vacuum cleaner? My wife's a Democrat. She won't even touch our vacuum cleaner. Why not? That vacuum cleaner is a hoover. <laughs> Come on, son. Come on, lady. <laughs> I guess Senator Claghorn's in all right. Look, his scooter is on the front veranda there. Well, let's make sure. Somebody, I see somebody's banging my door, trying to bag it. Oh, it's you, droop face. Uh, (laughs) Yes, Senator. Well, give it to me fast, son. I'm busier than the syrup jug in a waffle shop. Now, wait a minute. I'm investigating the coal strike. Coal? Coal strike's doing the country a lot of good. Good? Today, in Pittsburgh, if you meet a man on the street, you can see who he is. (laughs) As John L. Lewis says. You can't fuel all of the people any of the time unless I say so. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Tell me, Senator, about this exaggeration and misrepresentation in advertising. Advertising is the grease that lubricates the wheels of progress. You think advertising? Non advertising gets results. How? Before advertising, a man didn't know where his tea zone was. Well, that's... men who knew tobacco best was chewing it. <laughs> Smokers. Other smokers knew as much as Philip Morris smokers knew. But, uh... Dulles was just laying around doing nothing. <laughs> well, Senator, tell me, are the politicians keeping up with the businessmen? Are the politicians advertising? They sure are. Them Republicans is advertising a slogan. It's just five letters. Five letters? L-S-M-F-T. What does L-S-M-F-T stand for? Let's swap MacArthur for Truman. So long, Tom. So long, that is. I think the senator's been drinking too many malted milks. He's a little frap happy. Hey, I guess Senator Claghorn's in all right. His Ford is parked in the mule stall. The mule must be in the house putting on the feed bag with the senator. Well, let's not. Somebody, I say somebody put the skin to my mansion. Oh, it's you, jowl eyes. Jowl eyes? Now, wait a minute, Senator. Oh, your head looks lumpy, son. I can see you got something on your mind. Well, yes, Senator. Well, fill it, son. I'm busier than a sinner's kneecap at a revival meeting. Uh, you know, the baseball season opens in Washington tomorrow. I'm getting little old Harry in shape. Well, is, <laughs> is, the, is the president going to participate in the game? Well, it sure is. This year, Harry will play ball with anybody. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he can't wait to throw that first ball out to the Washington team. Why? It'll be the first time this year the senators have taken anything from Harry. (laughs) Well, tell me, Senator, how do you think the baseball season is going to uh, turn out? Well, the Taft-Hartley Act is going to make it hard on umpires. The Taft-Hartley Act? Well, before an umpire can call a strike, he'll have to get out an injunction. Well, look, tell me, Senator, what about the circus this year? You see, well, if you... son, the circus ain't got nothing we ain't got down in Washington. You, uh... Take them clowns. We got more clowns in Washington than the circus ever seen. <laughs> and uh, them Eubangies. We got politicians with bigger mouths than any Eubangie. <laughs> now, but... take that juggler keeping 20 Indian clubs in the air. Congress has got the whole country up in the air. Well, what about the strong man, Senator? He carried 20 men on his back. Well, carrying 20 men ain't nothing, son. No? We got a man down in Washington named Stassen. A strong man? He just carried two states, Wisconsin and Nebraska. So long, oh, son. So long, Eddie. Oh, Sorry, Portland. I guess the Senator's having mule meat for dinner. There's something braying in the barbecue pit. Oh, well, let's not. Somebody, I'm saying somebody chopped my trellis. Oh, it's you, Jughead. Yes, Senator. Well, let's go, son. As the two men said when they was inventing bubble gum, let's make it snappy. You no, know, I'm busier. I'm busier than a handkerchief during a Betty Davis picture. Uh, I'm working on Senator Taft's housing bill. Everybody today is trying to get into a new house. But, uh, Even Senator Taft. Senator Taft is trying to get into a new house? Yeah, the White House. <laughs> 
Yes, you don't get it, do you, son? No. You ought to give your head to a bone bank. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, sir. Take it easy with those innuendos, Senator. Now, what, uh, what's new? Well, I was up in New York attending that newspaper publisher's convention. The newspaper? Uh, confidentially, son. Uh, don't let this get around. No. I never read the newspapers, only the funnies. The comics, eh? Well, yeah, my favorite is Joe Palooka. Joe Palooka. When eh? I was a young sprout, I used to dress like Joe Palooka. Yeah? Used to talk like Joe Palooka. Yeah? Used to walk like Joe Palooka. Gosh. When I'd strut down the street, everybody would say, there goes that Palooka. Uh -huh. <laughs> And they can still say that today, Senator. I'm honored, son. <laughs> well, tell me, Senator, how do you feel about American superstition? Well, son, down where I come from, we've got one superstition. And that superstition is? That a drink of whiskey will cure a snake bite. I see. For 20 years, every morning, when I get up, I drink a full tumbler of whiskey. Every morning. Every noon before dinner, I drink another full tumbler of whiskey. Every noon. Every night before going to bed, I drink a full tumbler of whiskey. You've been drinking whiskey for 20 years? Have you ever been bitten by a snake, Senator? Not yet, son. No? But the first snake that bites me is going to find me well prepared. So on. <laughs> Alley, Kenny. I guess the senator just washed his hair. His toupee is hanging on the line. See, the, the old pompadour is waving in the wind there. Well, well let's now. Somebody, I say, somebody put the fud to my lumber. Oh, it's you, ferret face. Uh, yes, senator. Well, let's go, son. I'm busy hitting the man with one tooth eating corn on the cob. Oh, no, nobody yeah, could be I'm, that. I'm heading the Senate committee on that new clam survey. Clam survey? Yeah, the government's spending half a million dollars to increase clam production. Oh. My job's to see that the boy clams start caught in the girl clams. Senator, don't tell me that clams make love. Son, you have no idea what goes on under them shells. <laughs> Hustling every minute. I'm busy on that national health plan, too. Health? National health? Yeah, I'm studying vitamins. But, uh, That's the secret of health, son. Vitamins. Vitamins? If vitamin A don't cure you, go to vitamin B. You, uh... If B don't get results, go to C, D, E, F, or G. But if all the vitamins from A to G don't work... Go to H. Senator! H has in vitamins, that is. Oh. I was about to wash your mouth out with the Lever Brothers, Senator. <laughs> Senator, I, uh... <laughs> I read uh, that this week is the president's birthday. Yes, son. Is the president going to have a party? He's worried if the party's going to have him. <laughs> this is a good time to stop the program. I'm going home. I'll see you. <laughs> All I can do is read a commercial here. <laughs> Well, uh, tell me, Senator, how do you feel about the Pulitzer Prize Awards this year? Well, son, the wrong book got the prize. Wrong book? Most important book this year is Fanny Farmer's cookbook. You, uh... Yeah, this year, 20 million of them books will be sold. 20 million? Every Republican voter is buying a Fanny Farmer cookbook. Why? Next November, they're going to try to cook the Democrats' goose. So long, Senator. So long, Eddie. What a night in Allen's Alley, Kenny. There must be a benefit in the sky. All the stars are out. Well, let's, uh, let's see if Senator Claghorn is around. Somebody, I say, somebody fogged my flap. Yeah. As the tax collector says, let me have it, son. Well, look, Get Senator... going. I'm busy hitting a man with a stiff neck trying to watch a tennis match. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm leaving for college tomorrow. I'm getting an honorary degree. A degree? I'm flattered, son. I never had no education. I'm a self-made man. A self-made man? I'm demonstrating the horrors of unskilled labor. <laughs> Well, tell me, Senator, what do you want in college? I'm polishing up my Spanish, son. Penny? Yeah, Henry Wallace is down in New Mexico speaking Spanish. i got to head him off. But, uh... Si, si, amigos. What was that? Ah, uh, si, si, amigos. I speak si. Spanish like a castanet. Uh, <laughs> I could tell that. Yeah, la santiga, senora, propona ella, palillo, pogo, en mezcla, patata. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what is that translated? The old lady is sticking a pogo stick in the mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that an unusual sentence? Not in Spain. You can't trust an old lady in Spain, no. son. <laughs> the minute your back is turned, she'll pull an enchilada on you. Oh. Well, look, Senator, our question tonight is about families overspending this year. Well, Democrats started that trend, son. Democrats? Democrats is in favor of spending. Spending what? The next four years in the White House. So long, son. So long, Eddie. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's see if the senator's in. 
Somebody, I see somebody whap my watch here. Oh, it's you, son. Yes, Senator. Well, let's go, son. I'm busier than an Arthur Murray hostess trying to teach a pupil with St. Vitus dance. You're busy? Yeah, I've been over to Philadelphia attending that Republican convention. Oh. I ain't seen so much hot air since the night I opened the wrong door in that Turkish bath. <laughs> what about the Republican candidate, Senator? Well, uh, Dewey ain't never going to get little old Harry out of the White House. Who says so? Petrillo says so. Petrillo? <laughs> Nobody can take no piano player off of no job unless Petrillo says so. I imagine you saw some amusing sidelights at the convention, Senator. Yeah, I enjoyed one incident. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, Senator? Well, one day my hat blew into a saloon. I stepped in to get it. A man was sitting at the bar asleep. Yeah? As I picked up my hat, the man woke up. He looked up at the television. Herbert Hoover was making a speech. Yeah? A man blinked his eyes and said, If Hoover is president, what am I doing with three dollars in my pocket? <laughs> This is our last visit together. What are you going to do this summer? I'm going to the beach, son. I see. I'm going to put on my bathing suit. Yes? I'm going to sprawl out on that hot sand. Yeah? And then I'm going to do what all our senators do all the rest of the year in the Senate. What? Just keep lying. So long, son. So long, so long Eddie. Well, when the senator gets sprawled out, there'll be something new under the sun. Ask some people now as we're walking down Main Street. This man coming along with the burlap muffler. Pardon that. Uh, pardon me, brother. Claghorn, say Claghorn's the name, son. Senator Claghorn, that is. Oh, Senator. Shoot it to me, son. What's on your mind? I'm busy than a man with one tooth trying to eat an olive. <laughs> You're busy? Yeah, yeah. The government is cutting down expenses. I'm heading the committee for paper conservation. Paper conservation? We tried taking the pages out of old congressional records and making them into Dixie Cups. Dixie Cups? It wouldn't work. Why not? Them records was filled with congressmen's speeches. Well, why couldn't the congressmen's speeches be made into Dixie Cups? They wouldn't hold water. <laughs> oh, I see. Don't let that get out, son. No. Drew Pearson will go to town. Drew Pearson? <laughs> I'll keep it under my hat, and I have another hat for Sundays. I'll put it in. Say, what else, uh, what else is keeping you busy, Senator? Well, I'm head of that hay lift. Oh, Flying yeah. bales of hay out to them four steers in the blizzard. It's the least Congress can do. You, uh... Son, we owe our success to a steer. You owe your success to a steer? Where would Congress be without the old bull? <laughs> Well, tell me, Senator, what are some of women's outstanding achievements? Well, son, in America, the hand that rocked the cradle of liberty was a woman's hand. True. There are many famous women. Yeah. There's Lucy Monroe, the mother of the Monroe Doctrine. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there's Martha Washington, the mother of the Nougatine. <laughs> and there's uh, Florence Nightingale, the mother of the Audubon Society. <laughs> Who is the outstanding woman, Senator? In the South, the woman who has done the most for mankind is Chloe. Chloe? Yeah, Chloe went into a swamp and kept her mouth shut for 20 years. <laughs> Son, but... every woman should follow Chloe's example. Oh, now, wait. Wait a minute, Senator. If all the women ran into swamps, there would be no women left in the nation. I know. But a nation with no women, women what would it be? Stagnation. So long. So long. This man with the bat wing tie, who is carrying the rest of the bat in his hand. <laughs> pardon, uh, pardon me, bud. Claghorn, say Claghorn's the name, son. Senator Claghorn out here. Well, Don't hold me up, son. What's on your mind? I'm busy in a fly trying to float in a glass of alcohol seltzer. You're busy? Yeah, I've been going to night school, studying Russian. Studying Russian? Stalin invited the president over to Moscow. Say, I read that the president turned down that invitation. Why, Senator? Harry don't want to leave Washington, son. Well, why not? Harry had enough trouble getting there. <laughs> well, tell me, why did Stalin invite the president to Russia? The Republicans say Stalin wants to congratulate Harry. He's got the whole country in the red. Uh, well, do you, uh, do you think Russia's making any progress? Well, they're trying, son, but they ain't got the know-how. No? This week, the first washing machine come out in, wash in Moscow. Really? Yeah, but nobody in Russia can use it. Why can't the Russian people use the washing machine? No soap. Uh, I see. 
Well, Senator, about our question, why are prices coming down? It's them radio quiz shows, son. People are getting too much stuff for nothing. Oh. Half of the people in the country got flat feet. Flat feet from what? Standing by for the giant jackpot. <laughs> Well, do you think prices will keep falling, Senator? Yes, son. You can quote me. Prices will keep falling. Why? Big business is going to take a licking. Oh. When I was a little boy, my daddy used to take me out to the woodshed. Yeah? That's where I learned. In the woodshed, how could you learn about prices falling? Son, when you're going to take a licking, something's got to come down. (laughs) This man coming by wearing the kite tail for a necktie. Uh... (laughs) Pardon me, sir. Well, I say Claghorn's the name, son. Monsieur Claghorn, that is. Monsieur? Oui, oui, merci beaucoup, nasty pass. <laughs> Senator, what are you doing speaking French? Well, I had to welcome that French gratitude train. Me and Hildegard both made speeches. <laughs> I didn't know that you spoke French, Senator. Well, I speak French like a chateau. <laughs> Où est caché les deux plumes dans ma laminade garçou? Hey, that's real fluent. Now, what uh, what does that mean? Who put the trombone in my ginger ale? <laughs> Fine. Son, you say that to a Frenchman, he'll just stand there and look at you. <laughs> well, Senator, about our question, does advertising influence people? Do you you got to advertise, son. A squeaky wheel gets all the grease. But, John, uh, you got to let people know you're in business. Well, how do you mean? When a hen lays an egg, the rooster crows his head off. That's right. When a peacock lays an egg, the peacock gets up off the nest and quietly sneaks away. I see. That's why everybody eats hen's eggs, and peacock eggs are a dime a dozen. <laughs> well, do you, uh, do you think advertising lives up to its promises? It sure does, son, and I can prove it. Fifty years ago, a young boy saw an ad. How to be the life of the party. Learn to play the piano in ten easy lessons. And he learned to play the piano? Yes, son. That boy was Harry Truman. And thanks to that... <laughs> thanks to that ad? Today, Harry's the life of the party. The Democratic Party, that is. Main Street. This man coming with the high-button moccasins and the, uh... <laughs> and the cellophane overnight bag. Uh, pardon me, brother. Claghorn, say Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn, that is. Oh, I saw your bag there leaving town, Senator. No, son, I'm just coming back from Professor Einstein's birthday party. You and Professor Einstein? Yeah, me and Einstein sat around chewing the fat. Senator, what could you and Professor Einstein possibly discuss? Well, son, we had one thing in common. One thing? Professor Einstein didn't know what I was talking about. Yes. And I never will know what he was talking about. Well, do you, uh... Do you understand Professor Einstein's theory of relativity? I sure do. If you got a minute in a dictionary, son, I'll explain it to you. Good. Well, what is it? What is it all about? Well, it's simple, son. Relativity controls space. Space. Space is nothing. Yeah. Everything comes from nothing. Uh huh. You take a small round piece of nothing, put a little fried dough around it. It's a donut. Why? <laughs> You take a big, round piece of nothing, put some dirt around it, it's a tunnel. Say. Take a lot of nothing and wet it, it's an ocean. And that, uh, that is relativity? Yes, son. Professor Einstein knows everything about nothing. Good. <laughs> what's, uh, tell me, not changing the subject, Senator, what's new, what's doing down in Washington? Well, things is popping, son. Yeah. John L. Lewis called out his boys again. Say, did the miners walk out, upset the president? Oh, little old Harry ain't worrying about no coal shortage. No? He's getting his lumps from Congress. Well, tell, me, uh, tell me, Senator, about our question. Do you think people like to travel? Well, son, all Democrats like to travel. Democrats are on the go. I see. But, son, you can load every plane, you can load every train, you can load every boat with Republicans. And what will happen? Nothing. Them Republicans ain't going no place. So long, son. This man coming along with the live frogs on his smoking jacket. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Claghorn, say Claghorn's the name, Senator Claghorn, that is. Well, Senator... If you're telling forth, ain't no gypsy to me. <laughs> but, uh... now, don't hold me up, son. I'm busy than a man with St. Vitus dance trying to put on his long underwear. <laughs> you're busy? Yeah, I'm heading a committee in Washington to track down them five percenters. Oh, the five percenters. Have you trapped any of those uh, five percenters, Senator? Well, I got my eye on one little wasp. Yeah? He's got a second-hand hearing device. He's still pretty deep. And uh, he's a five percenter? Yeah, the Navy ordered 200 boats. 200 boats. This little deep scissor bill thought to said goats. You mean the Navy ended up with 200 goats? With them goats loose in the Navy, son, today it ain't safe to be a rear admiral. <laughs> 
uh, you sure have plenty of problems, Senator. Yeah, I'm keeping my eye on them red investigations. Say, do you think, confidentially, Senator, do you think communism is spreading, do you? It sure is, son. Them yeah. communists is heading for plenty of trouble. Trouble? Russia's taking over China. Where does the trouble come in? Them Russians are bringing borscht into China. Boys, Son, when a Chinaman tries to lift that wet potato out of his borscht with chopsticks, there's going to be trouble. Tell me, Senator, do you think most people plan their vacations? Americans have been planning the same vacations for generations. Really? Everybody in America finally gets to Europe. Finally gets to Europe, eh? Every year, our civilians go over there for pleasure. Every year? And every 20 years, our army goes over there on business. Oh, oh. 